But then I found these. And I found a whole bunch of these. Oh yeah, we're gonna grab. home base Goodwill. You know, there's like seven Goodwills here in Las Vegas, but I have one that I call my home base. Do you have one like that? Do you have like a, a home base thrift store? It's like your go-to, like it's my comfort zone kind of place. I don't know. It's my favorite. I love this Goodwill and I come here whenever I just need a little Goodwill fix. But I'm here and I'm going to continue on my streak of being very, very picky. And I think I could get even pickier, but it's so hard for me, it's so hard for me to leave stuff behind. But I'm going to try. And I hope that you're enjoying following my little journey in doing that. As, um, it's like exercising a muscle that needs to be strengthened but we're doing okay. And it's really cool because I'm kind of shopping for things for the for the new space at the vintage market right now. So it's got my eye thinking just a little bit, my eye thinking? Do eyes think? My brain thinking, my eyes looking. Woo, I get it right. Anyway, I'm gonna go in there and, and do that and uh, see what I can find that we can make some big money on. All right, let's go look. All right, as usual, we're gonna pick out, let's pick this one. Maybe not, maybe we'll pick this one. All right, that's better. Okay, I started back here at the uh, furniture and found a little rolling something that I can use down at the booth. But then I found these. I found a whole bunch of these. Oh yeah, we're gonna grab. Okay. We're gonna grab all of these. And um, you guys helped me with what these are called before and I'm just having a total brain moment where I don't remember, but um, I know they're good. And I'll tell you how much they are, but I have learned to get the things in the cart first and then we can go back and talk about things some more. Okay, so they are, this one's $9.99 and this one $7.99, I think. I think most of them are $7.99, yeah. So only one of them is $9.99. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them for $7.99 and one of them for $9.99. All right, I'm happy with that. All right, I'm not looking real hard through the art. Honestly, I'm not. I've got a lot of art to deal with right now. So, I mean, I'm just gonna look at something like pulls me like this duck print right here, but it's not, it's not like a Ducks Unlimited, which is, Kind of the ones I look for with the ducks. So, oh, although that's kind of neat. It's like it's on a tile. Dawn Northcut, but it's got a big scratch down it, so eh, it'll make it easier for me to leave behind today. Oh, look it, I found some more of these. These little bulletin boards. So there's four of them for $3.99. We'll grab those because I grabbed all those other ones to sell down at the booth. Oh, here's some more ducks. These ones are in really nice oak frames. I like those frames are worth $5 each. Gosh, see, this is where I I have the dilemma. Okay, no, 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 no. I need to be picky. I need to be picky. I need to... Oh, <laughs> told you I'd find more. There's another bundle for $3.99 for four of them. Okay. I just found what I believe is a mid-century lamp. It's got the old plug. It is pottery. It's super cool. It's $7.99, so I am gonna pick that up. 
I really kind of like this one too. Now this one is $25. It's milk glass with a globe shade. It's mounted on marble. But at $25, I'm gonna leave that one behind today. All right, we're gonna hit the metals and see if we can find anything interesting. Oh, it looks like somebody put back all of their crystal candlesticks into the metal department here. That's kind of a, a shame. Q, 6Q wall rack. Oh, it's for pool cues. I bet that's not cheap, but not something I need to focus on today. Oh, there's my little peach plate, but if this is the same one that was here the other day, it's got a chip. Why does this one look different? Wait a minute. Is this a different one? Is it possible there was two peach plates? Oh man. $2.99 for the peach plate. This must be a different one because I don't see a chip on this one. All right, I'm sorry, I gotta do it. I love this. I still don't understand these at all. And why would you want to put food on it? That's like the other thing I don't understand. It's kind of cute for $1.49, but not what we're looking for today. Let's see what else we can find. Ooh, that's interesting. That looks, um, it looks like horsehair pottery. Native American, it is, I think it's signed under there. It's $2.99. So we will grab that and let me show you what I pulled off of the new cart of things that just came out. So I got, I got this little girl. She's got a couple other ones inside her. So she's only $1.49. So I picked her up. And then I also got these African sculptures. This is all beaded. It's in good shape. It's $1.99. Oops. And then this one, this one looks more like it's from Thailand. It's nicely carved, it's $2.99, so I picked that up also. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, I think I would have had like a, a lid of some kind with it. These are cute little bowls. They feel, you know, they're not quite cut and they're not quite Pressed. It's kind of that in-between stage. Cute little, like, maybe these are like butter pats. I mean, they're awful small. Well, actually, those are, those are different than those. I'm not sure. I'm not sure the two sizes on those plates. But they're all little. So, all little. So, we're going to leave those. I'm listening, there's a conversation going on behind me. Cute jar. See, it's the, I, I would have been tempted to pick those up if I wasn't in picky mode. So I'm just gonna walk away from those. Take a peek at this little guy. Ooh, very lightweight. No quality at all to that piece. Oh, you know what? Okay, hold on. See this right here? I think I need two hands to do this though. Okay, that's how those should be displayed all together. This is a really nice canister set too, uh, but super heavy, takes up a lot of space. Price is right, but we're gonna leave that for somebody else. But I am gonna look at the fish. So I've been getting a lot of this fish stuff lately. I know it's from Home Goods, but Home Goods gets some good stuff. I don't see a maker on this one, but it's only $3.99. And it fits with all the other fish that I have been picking up. These are cute little cups. This looks, again, like a Pioneer Woman brand, but it's Pyrex. Interesting. I don't know what Pyrex pattern that is. But you know what? For $2.99, I think it's in good enough condition and desirable enough, I could sell that down at the booth and do pretty good with it. I'm trying to see if there's any other writing on it, but you know what? I can investigate more when I get home. Okay, it is dishes time. Let's see what we can find in the dishes. Oh, 
That is plastic. So we will pass that right on by. And see if there's anything in here that... Oh, are these more of my plates? <gasps> no, those are different. Those are different. Thought I found more of my plates. But they're not. All right. Wow, I don't see much of anything even to tempt me at all in the... Uh, in the dishes today, so... Oh. All right, let's move on. All right, we are over in the glasses now. Now, that is not cut to clear. It is just a stained glass. Oh, let's see. And the music is really, really loud as usual. So, may have to do a little voiceover with this one. These are really vibrant blue. Wow. Those are like, whew, those are blue blue. But they have no weight. They have no weight to them. <sighs> these, now that I see, oh, they're different though. I thought these were the same, but they're different. So, never mind, never mind. We were going to take another look at those. See if there's anything else up here that warrants a closer look. But boy, I'm not seeing anything. Is this? That's Harry Potter, right? Oh, but they want six dollars. I was never a Harry Potter fan. It's like Star Wars, Harry Potter. It's just not my thing. So I'll leave that for somebody else. All right, just randomly in different places in the store, I'm finding more of these. So there's another one for $1.99 on this one. I'll give a final count of how many I end up with at the very end. So... I don't see anything. Some of this stuff I've already looked at before. The last time I was here, it's looking familiar. So I'm looking for things that I haven't looked at before. And not seeing anything on these shelves. Okay. We are in the wood section. Looking for good stuff. Let's see what's under here. I see roosters. It's kind of cute, but it's kind of cheaply made. Not quite what I'm looking for. Yeah. Oh, see, there's some more. I bet these are $3.99 for four of them. So we'll grab those. Okie dokie. See, I'm thinking like Christmas time, those are really good little gift items that I can sell at a fairly cheap price down at the space. And I think they're gonna go like hotcakes. I think I picked this up last time too. Mike's Custom Jewelry. That is a kind of a pretty fancy jewelry box. For $3.99, I'm gonna grab that. All right, let's see if there's anything else exciting over here. I don't see anything I can't live without. <sighs> Feels like I'm going really fast through this store, so this may be a shorter video than I've been doing because there's just only so much to video this time. But that's okay. That's okay. Oh, look, she's still here. <laughs> she's still here. I almost like, want to see if they'll just give her to me and I'll glue her back together. I bet they would. Because it's kind of a clean break. I wonder if I could rescue her. Oh, wait, no. She's got, she's got pieces missing now. Oh, that's a bummer. I should have asked the other day. I wasn't thinking. Ah. Well, it's so sad. All right. 
Nothing here. All right, now we are on the tchotchke shelves. This is a blessing box. I think everybody needs a blessing box. Reminder box. All right, nothing there. Oh, we've got a little sculpture, a little 1970s, 80s kind of thing going here for $5.99. It's in good shape, you know what? I think I need that. You see, I'm kind of looking at these little grapes, but they're missing. The grapes are falling off. So that makes that a little easier to leave behind. But I am going to look at this little hacienda thing going on here. With the, it looks like it's missing. Oh, it's missing some crosses. It's missing crosses. And then I don't know how I feel about these. They're... I think they're plastic. They're not glass. They're like a, they're meant to look like glass, but I think I'm gonna leave those behind also. Watch me leave stuff behind. I'm doing it. Oh, but we are gonna have this one join its friends. There you go. All right. Oh, there's another one that needs to join its friends. I wish those were priced like as a set. I don't know. Maybe I can. There's one manager here that is really good about fixing prices like that. But I haven't seen her today. So. <gasps> Ooh. Look at you. Oh my goodness. Yeah, oh, I think you're missing a bunch of your shells. Now, in the past, that would not have deterred me. Oh, but gosh, it's only $1.99, you guys. It's only $1.99. I can't leave it behind. And then there's this one. This one isn't quite as exciting as the one on the shell, but it's pretty interesting nonetheless. And it's also $1.99, so it's just kitschy enough to pick up. All right, we're over in the candles. We already were over in the glasses and didn't find anything. And I don't see anything really calling me in the candles today. Nope. Nothing, nothing, nothing here. See something I missed? Let me know in the comments. I'm happy to take another look. I really wish there was more than one of these, but he's like a chamois. I'm not exactly sure what he is except for the fact that he's really stinking cute and I think Jordan will love him and he won't take up much space so I'm gonna grab him for Jordan okay I found this up on top of the toys this is a, a Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University set let's see what's in here it's like the book it's got the envelope system like this is expensive stuff so I may actually use this myself. I do love the Dave Ramsey method. <laughs> and I can't get that back on there. But anyway, I'm picking this up. It's only, oh, I saw the price before I turned the camera on. There it is, $2.99. I am picking that up. There is a crocheted afghan over here, but it's not very well made. It's got some stains, so. And it's just a little rough, so we're going to leave that one behind. Even though it is probably vintage, it's just not, it's not tickling my fancy. Look at all these bird bags. They're bird bags. I like them. How much are they? Only 99 cents. Do I need some bird bags to put my stuff in? I think I might. I think I might need to get a couple of bird bags, you know, for when they don't have boxes <laughs> and stuff. And I can put paper and stuff in it. If I can put them in the cart. No, I can, I can put them in the cart. Look, I can put them in the cart. Yes, there is a bird cage in the cart. In case you're wondering, there is a bird cage in the cart uh, because, well, because 
Yeah, you know, I'm gonna go with the one that has multiple birds on it. Okay, we're just gonna get two. I'm gonna be disciplined and just get two. All right, we're gonna head over and look at the purses and then that's gonna be our last stop before checking out. So here we go. This is also a really good time of year if you are a shoe seller is to be on the lookout for boots because boot season is literally right around the corner. And once the season hits, you know, the the demand goes up, so there's less and less inventory in the stores, whereas right now, your only competition is other resellers that are also thinking ahead. So, check out those boots if you are a shoe seller. What is that? Is that a... It is a little Betsy Johnson. Oh, it's pretty dirty. I don't know how to clean these things up either. It is a mini backpack and it is Betsy Johnson. I wonder if I can get that cleaned up enough to justify paying six bucks for it. You know what, I think I can. I'm gonna go ahead and get that. All right, not a whole lot in the purses, but I did find one, so I'm pretty happy about that. I do like the patchwork leather. I don't know who makes this one. It's not bad. Oh no, it's got a hole in it. Yeah, that's a bummer. It's that real buttery soft leather though. That's a shame that it's got, it's got a hole right there. Yeah, hole in the leather. That's, that's probably a deal breaker. Molly. <laughs> I, you know, the two bags that I bought with the parrots on it, I ended up filling up with stuff. And so I just got those two bags and then all that art, all that art. I still, I can't think of the name of that textile. It escapes my brain every time I want to call it batik and I know it's not batik. It's, um, I want to say it's mole. Is it mole? What am I? Wow, you guys are going to help me. You're going to help me down in the in the comments. I know, because you know what that is. Anyway, I know it's not cheap. I know it's very expensive. That's what I know. I know enough to know that I need to buy it. So I bought all of that. I got the mid-century pottery lamp. Got some more bulletin boards and then just a few other things. So I'm feeling really good about this trip. 
and I found the perfect piece to be like a little countertop down at our market space. So I got to drive around to the side and go pick that up. Um, it's on wheels, it's got little cupboards, it's got like counter space, and it's not so big that it takes up too much room. Super excited. I sent a picture off to Tiffany and, and she liked it too. So, this, I, you know, I like it's hard to come away from here and not just feel happy. So, there you go. I hope that you are having the same experience at your Goodwills. I hope that you're finding great stuff to resell and making lots of money. So I will leave you with that. And now, go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one.